Okay guys, this is part two of the first level, Mexican border. We're now at the train yard. Now as you saw when you first start, make sure you put on your silencer and your single shot because this is definitely a long level and you're going to have to be sniping a lot. This one is definitely a level you need to practice on for your headshots. Because you're going to have to do a lot of silent kills for this level. Okay, once you get past those two guys in that far end, send your team into that door. Make sure you're on infiltrate mode for your team. It should automatically be on infiltrate, so... Now go ahead, tell them to flash and clear. And move around here. Keep an eye on the bridge, because there's a sniper up there. One hit with that thing, you're s you are dead. So you gotta take care of him fast. There's usually a guy around the corner. If he's not, be careful, okay? He might be inside somewhere. Don't go in the door, okay? It said go to the window. Watch out for the guy to the left. He has a sniper, so he's another one shot kill. Gotta take care of him fast. Alright. After that, keep it look around, make sure try and see if there's anyone that could see you. Take him out. You don't see anyone. Alright, you go down the ladder. Just like keep an eye out. There's one. Now this one, you de you kind of yeah. this is also a good training level. You gotta keep your head on a swivel, okay? You gotta know find your enemies, use the map constantly, take silent kills, but try and keep it organized, okay? And right, when you get down the ladder, tell you guys to regroup and watch out because sometimes these guys are hiding. As I said, as soon as you get hit hide, okay, wait for it, don't take any hot shot moves because this is realistic mode. Now, follow through the big crates, not, not usually any, that many people, so keep it, but sometimes they do show up, so remember, keep your head on a swivel, Pre prepared for anything. slight problem because at the end of this hallway there's a minigun. Okay, you can see that it's rattling. You can try and take pop shots at it. If you're unsuccessful, if you're you know, like five shots, check a smoke all the way down there. Okay, he should stop. Switch your thermals. Get to the smoke. See if you can see him. If you can't see him, take him out and anyone else you see. You might. I just saw someone. So get over to the edge. Wait for him. Your buddy should help, may help, and take him out like that. So remember, keep your eye out. After that, go ahead and switch back to your uh, frags. Here's okay, another guy I didn't expect. Here's another. Here's another tip. As you can see, if you if they have any body part exposed, make sure you shoot that out. Kill them with their exposed body parts before they try and shoot you. And this. See, go back to your frags. Now, one guy right all the way down there. Another sniping practice. It's definitely good sniper practice. Now, here's another guy. This guy always is annoyed the crap out of me. He always, he always shoots me. So, keep it up. This guy's annoying. Make sure you go this way because this is like the safest way to get to him. Finish him off. Send your team over to the other ladder. Doesn't matter if you. Yeah, I just thought it was faster, so I, that's what I did. I just did it because it was fast. I thought it was faster. I can't do that. Got you covered. Got you covered. Well, I I was trying to remember. I thought this was a different door. There's no one in here, so just go ahead and snake. Just go ahead and just go through the doors. Regroup. Inbound. Tell you guys to regroup. Don't bother with the snake cam. I once again I thought it was a different room. Okay, here comes the room. This is a hostage situation. Three hostages, three targets. Time to do some teamwork. 
Snake came in and find two, and find all three of the targets. Don't target him first. Target the guy next to the hostages first. That's always it's a crucial thing. Always make the guy next to the hostages in first priority, and the second closest guy in second. Tell you guys to go over there, put your back to the wall. When they get there, tell them the flash and clear. As soon as the flash goes off, open the door. There. And then blast the other guy. Do not go. Do not go in before that flash goes off, or you probably most likely will get flashed. Yes, we will wait. And that guy in the little somewhere. Uh, this is Mexico. Still. All right. Now more train yard stuff. GAFE is inbound to secure the hostages. I'm reading an elevator sound ahead. Copy that. Tell you that's says it's from an old mining operation. Irina may have gone underground Keep for real. For any targets. If you see a target, take it out. Just the sooner you take the targets out, the better. But if you don't see anyone, go ahead and tell your team to go to the fast rope while you go down the ladder. Damn. This is a lot faster because you can just make sure you hit up on the D-pad to order them to go down the fast rope. Quick and organized fast. All right. Remember, remember, you always have to tell them to regroup after they do us action. After they like do a like a clear room or fast rope or ladder, anytime you send them somewhere. And don't go chasing after anyone, okay? Just make sure, just get the kills you can get. Here's another practice. Line up your shot along the wall. Okay? This saves time. Line up your shot right along the wall. You should be able to pop them right when you pop around the corner. Blind fire is a tactic, but honestly, I would not recommend it unless you're like very, very close. As you can see, I line up the shot right on top of my target's head. As soon as I hit, take a few shots, and I get them. That's honestly the quick. That's honestly the safest and quickest method. So line up your target first before you go in, and take hit around the corner and take the shot at the same time. Once again, no hot dogging. Wait till you're you're fully healed. Appears you're taking out everyone that's becoming a threat to you. Go ahead and head all the way back here. And head onto this bridge. See if you can see any targets. If you can, pop them. That will help you. That guy in the window, that will be one of your main problems. Break out the rope. Go down. Go ahead and just fast rope and tell you guys to fast rope as well. Get over to here and see if you can pop in there. If they run away. Okay, you can get around. Once again, that is that the window guy is always a problem because this guy ducks constantly. On me! Copy! Following! swivel because they can get behind you okay what you thought you eliminated they just all of a sudden they come back so always keep your eye out for that and go night you can go night vision if you don't need to if you have good enough eyes it's just showing you night vision once again target off another target here, this is definitely the most hectic ruins level, but it's also the last one. Okay. That guy usually takes a few shots, so once again, get hit, hide, hide. Right. These guys come like crazy, okay? So 
so don't get too antsy, okay? If you don't see anyone coming, move ahead. But if you do see anyone, if you see anyone, don't move till you take care of that one man. So this room is chaos. Shots as possible, and I think that the one hit kill. Of course, the headshot. <laughs> no contact. Here's this no contact. one room. This, this room in here is also the heavy part. Take that guy out first. Okay, that guy is definitely gonna be a pain, so you get to take him out. Watch out for guys in this room, because you kill one and. Then another one comes out of nowhere. We thought it was clear. See? We thought it was clear. Then all of a sudden I get shot. So head on swivels. Keep your eyes out in this room. Now here's another thing. If the room gets... If anything... This is another thing. This is your calls, okay? This is a tactical shooter. I'm trying as much as I can. But a lot of this is also your calls. This is your actions. If the room gets too hectic, okay, if it gets out of control, there's too much stuff, switch your guys off of infiltrate, switch the styles, and take off the styles. Okay, silences are for stealth missions, if you like this, you don't want to get realized, but if things get too chaotic and they're already shooting you, they all know you're there, switch, take off your silencer, fully automatic, and switch to assault mode. Every target you see. Once again, don't go chasing after targets, okay? If you see one hide behind him, don't chase after him unless he's a major threat. And when you finally clear out targets, go up here. Usually one right around the edge. And there's usually no one left in the last room when I'm by here, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It may happen to you. Okay. Joe, we found the Either send us to We're the rules or we'll follow send you down. Send guys that have repels and you take the middle one. Start jumping. Uh, sometimes you have to use your pistol. Tell your guys to go down. Keep jumping. These two, I'd say invert. Let take care of them, switch back, and repel down. No more enemies, so just keep repelling. Then this window is breaching, that's how you beat this part. HollywoodEndhouse.com.